church family. Good morning. Good morning. For today's announcements, I want to briefly speak about the Kanye West fundraiser. We have been asking all of the members to donate at least $200 per week until the max goal of $25,000 has been reached. Kanye has been a very faithful member of this church, and so far we have only raised $6,000, and that's not even half the goal that we set. We as a church family need to... Look here, Sister Hunt. Wait a minute, girl. Sister Edith, I really hate to interrupt you, but I have not, and I will not, donate not one red cent of my retirement check to help no Kanye and Wes. He a money owner. That boy money owner. And he married or going with that, uh, uh, Carol, uh, Carol, uh, yeah, that Kim girl. She got more money than she know what to do with. So why should we have to donate anything? Well, Sister Gert, I am so sorry that you feel that way. Mm -hmm. But I can assure you from me being the treasurer, Brother Kanye West has contributed quite a bit of revenue to this church. And I think that now that he needs a little bit of help, we as a church family should be able to reach deep in our hearts and bless him. I ain't finna read that deep down in my heart pull out nothing, honey. If you want Kanye to have some money, why don't you reach deep down into that Michael Cole pocketbook of yours and you pull him out of bliss? <coughs> Next Saturday, our pastors Earl in Virginia will be holding marriage counseling sessions from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. So to any couples that want to attend, please see Sister Mary Francis at the end of church service so she can add your name to the list. Well, that is all I have for the church announcements. And to any visiting guests, we thank you for joining, and you are most welcome here at Mercy Baptist at any time. At this time, we will ask our choir director, Brother Malcolm, to come up and speak to the choir about any rehearsals or any upcoming events. Let the church say amen. amen. Let the church say amen. 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 I'm not going to hold y'all long. I just want to say a few things to the choir and to the new members that are thinking about joining the choir. Well, you know, being a part of the choir is very important because we represent the church and we represent our pastors. Mm -hmm. So when we go to different events and, you know, at different programs at different churches, we represent Mercy Baptist and our pastors, Earl and Virginia. That's right, Brother Malcolm, so true. Amen. That's why I stay on the choir so hard because, you know, we want to sound good. We want to represent our church and our pastors. But most importantly, we want to represent God. Amen. Amen. And I say all of that to say this. Now, if you don't know the words to the songs, come to rehearsals because that's what rehearsals are for. Now, I take it as an insult when I come down here to Mercy Baptist Church during the week and also on the weekend. And y'all don't show up for practice. There you go. And then you have the nerve to get up in the choir stand and sing that Sunday. Now, you should not even get in the choir stand if you ain't been to rehearsal. Amen? Amen. So if being a part of the choir is too much for you, and, you know, just I would take it better if you would just let me know. And then we can make other arrangements. There you go. Because I'm not going to continue to put up with this. So to any of the new members that... Uh, or thinking about joining the church choir, if you could, at the end of service, just see me in the back and uh, we get you all set up. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Brother Malcolm and Sister Edith. Yes, the choir is a reflection of us and this church. That is why we try to teach our congregation to be holy and to live holy and do what is right in the sight of our Father. Here at Mercy Baptist, we are not going to judge you, but we are going to preach the gospel. Amen. My husband and I are pastors of this church, and it is our God-given duty to preach the gospel and spread the word. Y'all as our congregation is a reflection of us Amen. and what we are teaching you all. One thing I noticed when I went to one church Whoa, is that they had a sissy doing the praise and worship. <laughs> when I seen that, I 
I knew they lacked respect. And the reason why some of these churches aren't growing is because they ain't fighting nothing. They ain't fighting nothing. We have the cops fighting crimes and the doctors fighting diseases, but these pastors in these churches, they ain't fighting nothing. And if you are a pastor and you won't preach the truth about these gays and these lesbians and you're scared to preach on it, then you're just like some dumb dogs that won't bark. The enemy is coming in and you won't bark. Come on now. church shacking and you won't say nothing. Come on, Virginia. Come, Pastor Earl. Because they don't hear me. Come on, Pastor Earl. Come on. Thank you, Virginia. You know, I agree with my wife. Sometimes people don't want to go by the words of the creator. And sometimes we as pastors, and I said we because I've been guilty of it in the past, sometimes we suppress the truth. And sometimes people don't want to hear the truth. But homosexuality is a sin. And since some of these men want to be girls, God ought to put all on them. Yeah. Have them twitching like a girl. And you know, God says, you, you don't want to believe in me. I'll turn you over to your own self-destruction. Yeah. Homosexuality will be punished. In a matter yeah. of fact, it's being punished right now. Yeah. Yeah. Homosexuality is being punished because that tight pants is a punishment. Yeah. That yeah. lipstick yeah. is a punishment. Yeah. That twitching is a punishment. Yeah. The worst thing God can do to you is turn you over to yourself and you will self-destruct. Them. Say it, Pastor. Ooh, y'all don't hear it. God says, since you don't want to believe in me, I'll even legalize it and I'll make it legal and I'll bind you to it yeah. so you can't get out of it. Yeah. Woo, y'all don't hear me. Homosexuality is a sin. It's a sin, I tell you. You know one thing? One thing is, I was visiting a church and when the homosexuality seen me come in, they said, uh oh. Uh-oh. When they seen me, they was tormented. The Jesus in you ought to torment them and make them nervous. Ask yourself something. Why are they so comfortable around you? You know why? Why? You know why? Why? It's because you are the candy man and you make the world taste good. Yes, pal. I tell you. I tell you. You know, I'm not going to hold y'all long, but I just want to tell y'all that. You know, not only homosexuality, but in Romans 1, you that are foul, you know, got foul and grudge in your heart, sitting up in here meaner than a junkyard dog and don't want to forgive nobody. The judge is coming. Yes. So y'all hear me? The judge is coming. We hear you, Pat. Ooh, but I'm going to close for now. Let Virginia do the closing remarks. Oh, bless God. Oh, bless <laughs> As we close today's service, I want you all to know that we are not judging anyone because that's not our jobs. But we are simply preaching the truth straight from our Bibles. Let us bow our heads for prayer as we depart. Father, we reference your spirit in this place, oh God. Father, I pray that your anointing fall in this place like never before, oh God. Father, I pray that you decrease me so that I might be increased, oh God. Father, take us to another place in you, oh God. Father, I pray that your people are going to leave out of here never the same, oh God. Father, I pray that bondage was broken today, God. That chains were broken today, oh God. Father, I rebuke the enemy at every hand, oh God. I counsel at the assignment in the name of Jesus, oh God. In the name of the Father and the Son and the precious Holy Ghost. Amen. 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 Oh, good to see you, Sister Grace. Good to see you. Mm -hmm. Love you too. You have a good Sunday. Mm -hmm. Oh, good to see you, Sister Brittany. Looking like Shaka. Oh, good to see you. You too. God bless you. All right, Brother Malcolm. Oh, Sister Mary Francis, you be sharp every Sunday. Oh, yeah. Look at them shoes. You be sharp every Sunday. Oh, Francisco. What's wrong with you, son? Really, Pastor? I'm not your son and you are not my daddy. Okay, I'm sorry. Okay, calm down. Okay, so what's the problem is? 
Well, every time I come to church, you and First Lady Virginia want to preach about gay folks this and homosexuality that. I can 100% assure you that what I preached on wasn't directed at you at all. Well, I think it was. And when she had the nerve to say sissy, she looks at me. I don't know what kind of games y'all are playing up in here, but it is not cool. Well, I apologize, but I assure you that what I preached on was not directed towards you. Well, maybe what you preached on wasn't Earl, but everything I preached on was directed towards you, Francisco. Go. First Lady, you don't know my personal life. You're gay, aren't you? Did I tell you I was gay? You didn't have to. Look, I'm here to only try to help you so that you know it's okay to repent. What you're doing is a sin, and it is wrong. Well, 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 psychic Cleo, what am I doing wrong? You know what you're doing. No, I don't, so enlighten me. Sleeping with men is a sin. And how many men have you seen me sleep with? Let's not go there. No, no, let's go there. Since she says she knows, I would like her to share with us how many men has she seen me sleep with. Look, this is not the time nor the place to have this discussion, but I can't arrange counseling if you want to come for that. So now is not the place nor the time, but when you was up in that pool pit with them ripped up stockings on, it was the place and time for it. See, that's why I can't deal with y'all queens on a personal level. <laughs> so am I a queen or am I a sissy? Uh, let's just stop this conversation right now. No, Earl. God called me to preach the gospel, and that's what I'm doing. God did not call you to preach the gospel. That divorce and then piled up bills at home with no income is what called you to preach the gospel. We all know you in it for the money. See, you don't know nothing about my previous marriage or my finances. What you need to be worried about is getting delivered before you end up catching AIDS, if you ain't already got it. AIDS? Really? See, that statement alone lets me know that you're as fake as that wig that's sitting on top of your head. Mm -hmm. Y'all get on my nerves. Every time y'all assume somebody's gay, you want to bring up AIDS? See, First Lady, you don't like me because I'm real and I see straight through you. Let these folks up in here stop paying their tithes and giving donation and we'll all see how long you're continued called to preach the gospel. See, the God in me won't allow me Girl, to Girl, bye. Uh What does that look for, Earl? Virginia, you keep on and we're going to be standing in here preaching to each other on Sunday. You can't keep coming for the members like that, Virginia. You may not take preaching the gospel serious, Earl, but I do. Oh, Lord Jesus. Mm. Hey, baby. I hope you enjoyed the service yeah, today. Yeah, I did. I really had a nice time. I got some only preaching. Well, baby, I'm going to talk to you like, hey, Francisco, how you doing, baby? Very... Well, baby, come over here and have a seat. Let me talk to oh, you for a minute. Okay. Okay. What was you and Pastor M talking about? I couldn't hear too much because Sister Perry bad ass friend chilling with keeping up all that fush. Mrs. Perry, I know you did not just use profanity on church ground. Well, baby, I'm in the lobby, not in the church. <laughs> baby, I'm old. Sometimes things just slip out. My words slip out. My dentures slip out. And child, sometimes I get so tickled. <laughs> a little sprinkle of pills slip out. <laughs> This is perfect. Mary, you're not have trip. I ain't tripping, baby. You shouldn't have him right now. But what was Pastor M talking about? You know, First Lady, just being her old usual self. Chad, that little short heifer. <laughs> tell me what you tell. You, you know I ain't gonna tell nobody. <laughs> Hey there. How, you, how doing? you doing? All right. All right now. All right. How you it's doing? hot out here, ain't it, honey? Yeah. Too hot to be waiting on the bus. Sure is. What's your name? Jimmy. Hey, Jimmy. Hey. What bus number you waiting on? 931. I'm waiting on 9779 Sister Gert. Sister Gert. Hey there. Who is that? This Edith. Come on, let me give you a ride home. It's too hot for you to be waiting on the bus. Hey, Edith. Look here. I don't want to put you out your way, honey. No, I'm all right. I'm waiting for the bus here with this young man. Girl, I got to go by one of my girlfriend's house live by you. Come on. I can give you a ride. Well, it sure is hot out here, honey. I sure do appreciate it. But, you know, look here now. I can't ride fast. You know, ever since I had that accident, I got a fear of driving fast. Girl, I drive so slow, you think we walk. Well, it's on then. Look here, sir. I'll see you later. I gave you my phone number. Now you call me. Who 
eat if I sure do thank you, honey, because it is hot out here today. Child, it's going to be hotter than that when you get to where you're going. What you say? Girl, it is so hot out here. I'm telling you, honey, it is so hot. I'm so glad you picked me up because it looked like it was going to take a long time for that bus to come. Oh, honey, it's such a beautiful day, but it's hot. Uh, hey, eat it. Eat it, look like your speed getting a little fast. I know. What, 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 what you doing? What, what you doing? Sister Gert. Oh, no. Don't you ever, and I mean ever, interrupt me when I'm doing my announcements. Do you understand me? Oh my God, I done told you I don't like to drive fast. You know I got a problem ever since I had that wreck. I don't know why you trying to mistreat me in this car. I don't know why you trying to drive. Look at oh here, there goes school bus. Oh my God. Oh no, somebody help me. She driving me fast in this car. I bet you if I ever catch you, honey, by yourself when I get out this car. Me by yourself. It's gonna be on and popping. Slow this car down. Oh my God, help me somebody. Look at him, slow this car down, please. I ain't slowing down nothing. Slow the car down, oh, Edith. Look now. at him, what's wrong with your feet? Nothing wrong with my feet. Something wrong with him, they don't got kids. Let me out of here, please. Please, Jesus. Nothing. Edith, let me out of this oh, car. Oh, Edith, on please. That. Oh, oh, my God. Damn, throw your Help me. Out this damn oh, my, you cussing? Yes. I didn't know you put your hands on me. You're supposed to be one of the pastor's favorite people. I am pastor. Slow the car down, please, Jesus. Fix it, Jesus. Oh, Lord, have mercy. church was a long day, but you got to realize that everything don't have to be addressed right then and then, blown out of proportion. I mean, did you hear the thing that I said? Like, I know you're not asleep. Did you, did you hear the thing I said? Yes, I heard you, Daddy. But please remember... This is the only place that I'll answer to son and call you daddy. Okay. See, this is what I'm talking about. Y'all not taking my time serious. Look, can I get tired of coming up in here, dealing with y'all, and y'all not showing up for rehearsals? You hear me? That's what I'm talking about. Y'all need to get together. Brother Malcolm, are you all right? No, Sister Virginia, I'm not all right. Look, time after time, I tell you and Pastor Earl that I need more time with this choir. I, it ain't even a choir. It's like a group of hyenas. They don't come in here. They don't do what they're supposed to do. They don't even show up. I'm tired of dealing with it. Tell him, Brother Malcolm, just coming up in here sound like a whole bunch of nothing. Sank you sound like Alicia Keys, but sound like I need you to stop singing, please. Girl, bye. You are the only one up in here sounding like Anita Faker. You know what? Excuse, excuse me, ladies. You see these right here? Mm -hmm. Please come have several seats. No, thank you. Here goes this queen. Look, what we gonna do about this? Cause I look, I'm not gonna keep putting up with this. So either we gonna have to get this thing together and get it fixed, understand. or I'm gonna have to take my musical talents elsewhere, a pastor. I'm sorry. I understand. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Is my lesson interrupting you all? I'm sorry, honey. Malcolm is having trouble with the choir. What's new? I, I, I mean, I, how can I help? Look, pastor, I'm sorry to interrupt you, but look, I can't keep dealing with this. This choir not doing what they need to do. They're not showing up. They don't want, I'm tired of dealing with it. We got to get together. Be my guest. Thank you, Pastor. Sister Edith, thank you for joining us. Up. You all right? Yeah, Pastor. I think my scalp pretty dry. No, all right. Look, don't be scratching all night and getting dandruff all over the pew. Do you need to excuse yourself? Nah, nah, I'm all right. <laughs> What's so funny to you about Sister Edith's dry scalp? Go listen here, Jesse. You know how she go in her office and take a nap? You know, when she go back there and take her wig off? Well, good, get what I did. 
I snagged that weed. I took it outside and I rubbed around in the dirt. Ain't no telling what kind of ants and what not up in that thing, girl. What? <laughs> what is wrong with you, girl? Look at him. She deserve it. Why? Because she want to give that West boy money? Or because she wants to feed the homeless? I mean, you think since your old and how will be seeing Jesus before the rest of us that you behave better. Shame on you, girl. Now, see, you don't know what she did. She picked me up from the bus stop Sunday, and she drove me in her car. Wow. That changes everything. I mean, seriously, girl? Look, Jillian. Jillian, you don't understand. And, and I don't you don't understand. Mm-hmm. Jillian, wait a minute. Wait a minute, Jillian. She is old and nasty helper, though. Yeah, I heard. Hey, that's Sean. How you doing? You doing good about yourself. I'm doing all right. See, y'all don't understand. She evil. She picked me up in her car, Sean, and I told her not to drive fast. She promised she wasn't going to do it. And she put that thing to the floor, and the whole car started shaking. I believe you, sister girl. You believe me? You do? I believe you. She drove you fast in her car, too? Right now. But she had the nerve to try to talk to me about putting singles and change in the collection plate. Last time I read, Jesus and the disciples were poor. Hell, didn't he make bread for them all the time? Well, see, dog son, that ain't that ain't how it happened. Well, she's lucky I give them anything at all. Don't you drive a Mercedes Benz car? Yeah, I do. Well, how you pay for that? I got my ways, this girl. But you ain't got ways to give God 10% of what already he is. What you got to say about that? When you just up in here last Sunday talking about some, you ain't giving no more money to the church? See, look here. Y'all young folk with these eyes phone and eyes pads and all this new technology up in here. Mm. Talking about y'all got the word on it. Ain't no word on it. Y'all up here swiping and a swooping. Talking about word on it. Ain't no word on that thing. And sister girl, I got the Bible out right here. Let me see it. Mm. Mm-hmm. Probably on that old me. I can't hold a damn thing for you snatching it back. You're probably on that old meat app. Ain't that what they call it? Meat app? Ain't never heard of this girl. You know where they tend to ride the meat, but in the home of the sexuals kind of way. You talking about tender, sister girl? What you even know about that? Them little girl boys like that app. More them little boys in here on church on Sunday than they is on that app right after church. Tell me about it. Anyway, boy, why are you so cheap? Don't you know that's God's money in the way? God provided me with this money to do whatever I please. And what I please is not give any of these greed pastors any more of my money. Speaking of... Though Satan's trying to stop me And to place my feet on sinking sand For Satan's trying to stop me And to place my feet on sinking sand Um... Natasha, this is not your song. This is never my song. When am I going to get the lead? When you learn how to sing? Mr. Pearl. Tell me that. Well, that's besides the point. I don't need to learn how to sing anything. Seriously, Natasha, you probably wouldn't be a bad of a singer if you just took the time to come to rehearsals. But you feel like you don't have to come in. Mm-hmm. You know what? I know for a fact that Pearl only shows up on Sundays. But Pearl can sing, though. Oh, he is telling the truth, though. But that doesn't negate the fact that you need to come to rehearse. I mean, she could learn a, a, something from you. I don't need to learn nothing. Plus, you cannot teach a God-given talent, Michael. What has she got on you, huh? What? What, is this your little girlfriend or something? Sister Pearl, look, my job is to direct y'all. I'm not going to turn into one that want to come in here and give God praise. That's not my job. Why are you even playing this game and let her in the choir? Thank you, Brother Malcolm. Now, can I get the lead? You just need a heap, a heap of more Ooh. practices before you can get that lead. I'm sorry. Yes, Lord. <laughs> See that? She don't need no practice. And what is she, your little girlfriend or something? The girl can't sing. I bet hmm. your wife would like to know why you got this non-singer who's up in here. Oh, really? Pearl! Oh, Pearl, you did not just bring up the wife. But, but you, you got receipts, though? Sister Pearl, you are way out of line. <laughs> yes, ma'am, you are. Start the music again. For Satan's trying to stop me. 
A little help would be nice. I mean, I'm not the only one that's going to eat these groceries. It's already bad enough that I actually had to drive to the grocery store, get out my car, and grocery shop. But you just got to have faith like I do. Faith? That's not the problem, Earl. I have faith. The problem is, why in the hell did you fire our driver, mm, and then on top of go. that, you let Maria go? Oh. I just don't understand this at all. Well, calm down, Virginia. We're not the first person that don't have no driver. We won't be the last either. People, are you crazy? We are not just people. We are pastors of a mega church. Virginia, we cannot keep using the church money for cooks and drivers and all that nonsense. Using the church money? Are you crazy? We earn that money. I mean, do you really think God wants us to get up there every Sunday and preach the word for free? Yes! You a damn fool. Get out your feelings. Because ain't nothing in this world free. I don't care how many cars or driver license we may have. If Cleflo and Taffy Dollar don't drive themselves or TD Jakes or cook for themselves, neither shall I. You have changed so much, Virginia, since we got this church, this money, and this house. You know, and tell me one thing. Why did you take Matthew out of public school and didn't even tell me? I wouldn't even know until we get an invoice that we're paying $4,400 a month for him to go to Perks Academy? Yes, I've changed. I mean, do you really expect me to live a minimum wage lifestyle off of a six-figure bank account? I don't think so. And yes, I took Matthew out of public schooling because my child is too good for public schooling. I don't want him to grow up to be some thug running around here with these washed-up whores who live off government assistance with no education. Wait, so you're telling me just because he's enrolled in private school that these things can't happen? I'm telling you that my child is too good for public anything. Oh, public schools, public school buses, public libraries. Now, Earl, this is a matter that I will not argue about. Too good, huh? But before all of this money and all of this stuff, wasn't Matthew swimming in the public pools? Yes, but that was the past. Now he has two in-ground pools. He can swim in whenever he likes. Public schooling is for bombs, thugs, crackheads, and whores. No child of mine will attend anything like that. Get out your feelings. And yes, I did forget where I came from. And if anybody makes it out the ghetto and they don't forget where they came from, then they are a damn fool. You a preacher but cussing. You going straight to heaven all right. And if I go straight to hell, Earl, at least I know I live my life. Heaven or hell, as long as I'm wealthy, that's all that matters. Shouldn't be like that. Public, this public, that poor people, that you don't never know who you gonna need, Virginia. I don't need nobody. I don't even need Jesus. I'm gonna cook a great dinner tonight. Put the barbecue sauce on my chicken. Yes. We can put a little bit of cinnamon. Out there. Yes, honey. Out there, where are you? I'm cooking. And then some cinnamon. Oh, oh that's bigger. Nothing, honey. I just had some sauce in the oven, honey. What I'm the gonna make this chicken. Out there, out there. chicken. I, no. Out there, what the hell is wrong with you? I was cooking chicken for you. I was cooking dinner. Oh. Out there, our baby is not a damn chicken. You could have killed our son. What the hell is wrong with you? But I was going to put a little bit of more barbecue sauce. Oh my. And you know, I could just put this together. Uh, barbecue look, sauce? Look, 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 that's And okay. maybe look, some... Look, look. Don't even worry about it. Look, let me get him cleaned up. I just need you to go somewhere. Just relax for me, please. Just order a pizza. I think just... a pizza would be better tonight. Just... just... Cinnamon would be cinnamon. great for the sauce. Not with the pizza. I think we, it's okay. Can We're you real go crazy. get some lemon? No, we don't need any lemon. We will have pizza. What, what kind of pizza do you want, baby? Give it's me different. the baby. I, I'll take care of him. I'll get him cleaned up. We'll sit and look. We'll watch a movie and we'll eat pizza, okay? You know, just, just go relax for me, okay? Okay. All right? What's up? Okay. I'll go ahead and get the doorbell. Get the door and you just you just go get yourself together, okay? Yes. All right? Yes. All right. That's oh. crazy. Oh, hey. Hello. How you doing? Oh, hey. I'm Josie, your new neighbor. I just wanted to meet my new neighbor. Well, my new neighbors. Well, I'm Franklin, but everybody in the neighborhood calls me Frank, and this is my son, Carter. Nice to meet you, Frank and Carter. What a lovely home you have. Thank you. Yeah, we do what we can. Oh, so you're not married? Mm. Mm. Uh, yes, but uh, now's really not a good time. Oh, honey, I understand. Well, we'll see each other around since we're neighbors. 
Yeah, I'm sure we will. And if you ever need to borrow some white sugar, you can come on over. Uh, okay. Uh, I remember that. Okay, honey. Oh, hey. I'm already liking my new neighborhood. My neighbor is dark, fine, and chocolate. I can stop staring at his print. It's like a third leg, honey. Before I let that happen. Althea, what the hell are you talking about? I said I'm gonna kill you and that damn baby. Oh my god, you are a complete nutcase. You wanna meet God? I'm about to make that happen. <laughs> Crazy bitch, you damn right once this shit is over with. I'm getting my baby, we're getting the fuck on you, crazy squirrel looking bitch. Who tries to cook that damn son? That's just damn crazy. Fuck you and that baby. I'm about to crush y'all asses up. Fuck you and that damn baby. These are my parents of uh, Pastor and First Lady McMillan. Ah, uh, that was not a good time. Wait, you gonna be sorry running off with my baby? Hello, I'm Josie, your new neighbor. You must be Frank's wife. These are my parents. Yes, I am his wife, and you ain't getting no black dick, so you might as well get that out your mind right now. If you want some black dick, then you need to buy your own. Oh, I heard you on the phone the other day talking about his third leg. You're just damn nasty. Well, nice to meet you, too. What was she talking about, a third leg? Let's go eat dinner, hon. Oh, shit. Hey, 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 so what are all the pleasure well, having you all coming to my office today? So I'm got to get because I ain't going to keep putting up this quiet. Tired of me. Go. Sick of them. You need to do something about such a pair of uh, granddaughter. Keep coming here looking like a big yellow man. The worship with us. Everybody knows she's a lesbian, Mo. A lesbian's what? Yeah, them women that like women. How do you know this, Sister Mary Francis? I'm not going to bite my tongue. I'm just going to say it. She's a bull diaper, and that is not a good look for the church. Ain't that right, Brother Malcolm? Sister, unlike you, I don't care who's sleeping with who. My main concern is them not keep coming up here and wasting my time. That's all I'm concerned about. Who they sleeping with ain't the problem. It's who they getting naked with and having sex with. Now that's the problem. Mm. Earl, are you all right? Uh, around, baby. Yeah, just uh, real bad arthritis pain, but, but I'm fine. Well, look, what, what, what are we going to do about this choir? Fine, fine. Either you're going to fix it, or I'm going to have to take my services over there to uh, Pastor McMillan's and go direct over there. <clears throat> So you mean to say you would leave us here at Mercy Baptist Church to go and direct this in white folk church? I sure will, and they pay more money, too. You shouldn't turn your back on your own kind to go over there and direct over yonder. I just don't get no respect here. Y'all disrespect me by not coming to these rehearsals, and I'm sick of it. Who are y'all? You know I can't sing. I just be moaning and swaying, backward and forward, backward and forward. Earl, let's give Malcolm a raise. A raise? Yes, he deserves it. And I know what he means by not getting no respect around here. That wannabe girl, Francisco, makes my blood boil. Ouch! Um, um, sharp arthritis pain. But, uh, yeah, uh, uh, bro Brother Malcolm, uh, 
Come talk to me tomorrow, and we'll talk about giving you a, a raise. And, and Brother Malcolm, we really do appreciate you here at Mercy Baptist. And I assure you that I will personally talk to the choir members. Uh, well, I so appreciate it. Thank you, First Lady and Pastor Earl. Y'all yeah. yeah, have a good day now. You too. <laughs> Oh my, look what the wind blew in. He was asking for you first lady, I assume you know him. Yeah, of, um, of course. <laughs> I'm a brother, Ivan. I never knew you had a brother. Hi, Ivan, I'm Sister Edith, the church treasurer. Mm -hmm. Ivan, like the hurricane that tore up all them places? Do y'all remember Hurricane Ivan? Not that I can recall. Me? How you been, sis? I love the church. And how my nephew doing? I've been doing well, and Matthew's doing fine. He's taking music lessons. I I've been writing you letters. Why you never wrote back? And how's mom? And after I stopped hearing from him, I, I figured she maybe she moved or something. Let me show you around the church, my dear brother. Excuse us. Well, it's nice to meet you. Ivan. <laughs> nice to meet you too, sis. Stop it, Ivan. Don't pay him no mind, Edith. I'm sorry. Where did you say you from? He didn't say. Ooh, Pastor Earl E. Yeah, I better get Virginia. Her mouth is too smart sometimes to be a co-pastor and a first lady. One thing I don't like is somebody with a slick mouth. Seems like to me she had something she was trying to hide. I ain't never heard her say nothing about having no brother. I don't know what's going on with her, but I apologize on her behalf. But I assure you that it was nothing personal against you, Sister Mary Frank. Oh, oh, oh! Are you all right, Pat? Oh, uh, oh, uh, uh, yeah, just, just, just real bad arthritis pain. Just real bad. You need to go to the doctor and get that thing about you. Know? Your wife gonna catch me on one of my bad days and I'm gonna let her have it. Well... Let me get on up out of here. She better be glad I'm filled with the Holy Ghost. Amen, sister. You are filled with the Holy Spirit. Well, I'm about to leave too, so I'll walk you out. All right. Thank you, Sister Edith. And Sister Mary Frances, I will see you on Sunday. Okay, Pastor. Yes, she better be glad I'm filled with the Holy, Holy, Holy Spirit. So why didn't you stop when they came in? Because I had to make sure that I was filled with the Holy Spirit. Don't say the word holy and sperm in the same sentence, please. I already feel bad enough about this. You may feel bad, but I make you feel good. Um, well, tell me something. Why me? Why you what? I mean, why me? Why, why you seduce me or whatever? Pastor oh. Earl, you are not the first pastor to be doing this. Priests and choir boys have been doing this since the 1990s, so don't act like you're the first one. Well, I'm a disgrace. I mean, I'm not saying you are a disgrace, but for me to be a pastor and to be doing this? <sighs> you're not a disgrace. This is happening because you treat me different, you look at me different, and you make me feel good. All of those other guys, they just want a quick nut, but no, you, you make me feel wanted. Hold, hold on one second. Hello? Pastor, can you marry Tasha and I? Natasha? Natasha who? It's Tasha, the member for your church. They want to sing for your play every year. I know who Natasha is, but Natasha, I mean, when did y'all two even get engaged? As a matter of fact, when did y'all even start dating? And I thought Natasha had a boyfriend. Pastor, why so many questions? You are our pastor. I'm just coming for you to marry us. Uh, well, I mean, uh, w w would you mind if I give her a call? I mean, you know, to, um, um... To, to, to find out the date, yeah. Would you mind if I get her a call, Brother Sean, to find out what date that, that I'll be marrying y'all, yeah. Yeah, 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 that makes sense. I'll call her and get the date for our wedding. Okay, Brother Sean, I'm going to call Sister Natasha, and I'm going to give you a call back, all right? All right, bye-bye. What -bye. Oh, I lost his mind. Hello? Hey, Sister Natasha, how you doing? This is Pastor Earl. Hey, Pastor. I'm a little bit shocked that you called, but whatever them kids did with the mics had nothing to do with me.
<laughs> oh, no, no, ma'am. The reason I'm calling you is because uh, Brother Sean gave me a call and he asked me if I would perform you and his wedding. Whose wedding? That boy is crazy. Me and him getting married? I would never, ever, ever marry him. And I have a boyfriend. So why would he even have some foolishness to say like that? Uh, oh, oh, okay, 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 Sister Natasha. I just wanted to call to, to be sure. But okay, I, I'll see you on Sunday. I tell you, Pastor, he's crazy, 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 crazy. I would never, ever just marry him at all. Uh, all right, I I'll see you on Sunday. Bye-bye. Lord, I thought that gal had a boyfriend. <laughs> Ivan, what are you doing here? I came to see you, sis. You should have called first. <laughs> you know I ain't got no number for you. I know my dear hair. I've been calling for the past four years, but never got an answer. And where's mom living? Like, we used to write each other all the time. Ivan, I thought you had 20 years of life in prison. How did you get out? And if you escaped or any foolishness like that, I would not help you. Escape? You think I'll bring that type of heat to you? I don't know, and I don't care. I don't even trust you. I don't even know why you came here. I don't want my congregation knowing that I had a brother locked away in prison. But when we was in church, I thought you were just happy to see me. That was a front. I have to be nice in front of my members because I am a pastor, but I am not happy to see you and I want you gone. Whoa, where's all this coming from? Look at me, Ivan. I am not the same poor, broke down sister I was before you went to prison. I have everything I've ever wanted, plus more. Then help me. We blood. I'm sorry. No, wait. No, I'm not. Because you did whatever it was to end up in prison. You made your bed. <laughs> now you must lay in it. I'm not helping you with anything. You know what? Okay, I get it. You don't want to be bothering me. I don't. And that's cool. Just give me mom's new address. I never thought you would turn your back on me. Whoever said blood is thicker than water lied. All right then, just give me mom's address. Good day, Ivan. And don't you ever come back to this church again. As a matter of fact, forget you even have a sister. <laughs> okay, okay, no problem. Just remember, what goes around comes around. I said good day. I just need mom's address. The same way you found me, find her. I'm gonna feel. You know what? You wanted to be up in it, bitch. You ain't shit, Virginia. And if it weren't for this church, your raggedy black ass would still be at 187, pissing and shitting in buckets because your toilet was fucked up. Black, yes. Raggedy, never. My sunglasses are worth more than your life is worth. Now get off my property. Falling in love with Jesus. Falling in love with Jesus. Falling in love with Jesus. What's the best thing I've ever done? Yeah, I like that. <laughs> and here I was thinking that you fall in love with me. What's the best thing you ever done? What's going on late? I didn't hear you come in. Yeah, I know. I kind of snuck up on you. But your vocals sound amazing. Shady. Hey, you remember a few years back when I almost got signed to the TPM record label, but I had declined because you told me you was pregnant? Yeah, of course I remember. But guess what? Here we are, six years later. I got a second chance. But I thought Christian record labels didn't give second chance. Well, they do. And God in heaven knows how much I've been praying for this. Are you sure you want to try for this again, baby? V, what, what you mean? Of course I do. I, you know, V, if this go through, you know, it won't change just to who we are, but, you know, we'll better us, you know. And besides, I'm tired of not being respected at that church. I'm sick of it. Oh. Just old? Yes, I'm excited. 
I just thought you were going to give this music thing up, baby. Give it up. I mean, VF music is my passion in life. It helps me to escape to a different universe. Why wouldn't that give it up? Well, I assume that since we lost the first baby, that we'll try to get more established and working on a family. Well, look, Bib, like I said, if this fall through for us, it won't change us or who we are, but it will change our lives for the better, Bib. You're right. You're right. I'm tripping. So when is it? It's in a few hours, actually. You know, that's why I was trying to, you know, rehearse and make sure I was better prepared, you know, when I go down to meet with Bobby and Renee Peoples. Let me get on out of here and let you finish. All right. Okay. Falling in love with Jesus. Who is it? Hey, it's Frank. Hey, please open up, Brother Malcolm. Holy. Shit, I no, know. I, no, I was going to say Holy Mother of God. Is that blood? It's barbecue sauce. Athea tried to cook my baby. Come on in, man. And she was trying to do what? And she covered him in barbecue sauce. She was trying to cook my damn baby. Another second too late, and it would have been over with. And I know out there crazy, but this is a new one for her here. Yeah. Come on down and you know, have a seat. Baby, who's at the door? Hey, Bill. Hopefully. Mother of God, I know. I was gonna say shit, but what's going on? And, and is that blood? Nah, baby, it's, it's Athea again. It's barbecue sauce. She tried to cook my son. What the devil? She needs Jesus. Yes, she does. It's nothing a little prayer can't do, but yes, she most definitely need him. Oh, I'm praying all the way to my lawyer's office. I'm divorcing her. I can't take this shit no more. Divorce? She would kill you if you do that. <laughs> yeah, she already tried that. She tried to slice me and my son up. In our bathroom at home. What? Yeah, man, I agree with you. It's time for a divorce and maybe in a restraining order, too. Lord Jesus. Have you talked to your brother about this? No, and I'm not. Why not? Pastor Earl is very understanding. It's not him. It's her. But Virginia's sweet. Don't let that sweetness fool you. That's the devil. Just who I product. But wait, but didn't they help you with that deal before? Yeah, they did. Two times counseling and all that. But Virginia pitched such a big fit, it drove a wedge between me and my brother. Hmm. Well, they say looks could fool you, because at church, she seems like the sweetest thing on earth. Yeah. But hey, man, I got some shirts in the back that don't got a little bit too little for me, man, and maybe you can wear some of those. And I will take care of baby Carter. You know I love the kids. Where's Athea now? She's still at the house. Listen, I'm going to give you a lady named Selena Martinez's phone number. Her and her assistant will go over and talk to Athea. They're two professional counselors that help in situations just like this. So how well do you know this Martinez lady? Very well, very well. I used to work with her. Bill, could you call her for me? I mean, I, I just really need some time to think this out. Yes, Franklin, you know I will. As soon as I get baby Carter situated. Yeah, thank you. No problem. Both, both of you. Hey, no man, problem. no problem at all. And hey, I got some pants, too, in the back. But you know, don't got a little bit too low as well. But man, don't you dare put them under my drawers. <laughs> <laughs> man, no. <laughs> hey, man, look, let me holler for a minute, though. But you remember a few years back when I almost got that record deal? It's amazing how things work, man. I was just about to call you, and, and you know. I, yeah, I remember that. Uh, that's when Viv claimed she was pregnant? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 This, <laughs> but, man, why every time we talk about this, you say she claimed she was pregnant? Because it's true. Man, but anyway, man, here we are six years later, and you know, by the time, you know, when you was pulling up, I was back rehearsing, because you know, I got to go meet with Bobby and Renee Peoples in the mm -hmm. few. Do not tell your wife. <laughs> man, you tripping, man. But she already know, and she was excited about it as well, so we good. <laughs> Brother Malcolm, you know she would do anything and everything in her power to keep you right man, here. Man, stop it. Hey, look, man, but look, let's, let's go on back and get you situated, man. I ain't even going there to with you that, man. <laughs> Yeah. Hi, my name is Maria and this is Sala Martinez. Are you Mrs. Altia? Hola, mi nombre es Sala Martinez y ella es mi asistente Maria. ¿Tú eres Miss Altia? Yeah, which mom? 
Well, we come here because your friend Viviana, she called us to come check up on you, see? Nosotros vinimos aquí porque tu amiga Viviana nos llamó que viniéramos a checar en ti, ¿sí? What the hell you just say? Your friend Viviana, she telephoned us to come and check up on you, ¿sí? Tu amiga Viviana nos llamó por teléfono que viniéramos a checar en ti, ¿sí? You mean Vivian? Uh, yes, sí. Uh, sí, Viviana. Well, it's Vivian, not Viviana. What the hell am I supposed to be damn seeing? It's just us right here on the porch. Okay, can we come into your casa oh, to talk to shit. you about your bad behavior problems? Mm. Um, bueno, podemos pasar y hablar contigo de tus problemas? Oh, sí. No, y'all can't come in my damn castle for nothing. So since Vivian sent you over here, how about you go back and tell Vivian and my stinking ass husband Franklin that I don't need y'all over here helping me, okay? Well, we can see by your way of cursing that you're having really bad behavior problems. Nosotros miramos de la manera que tú estás puteando los problemas que tú tienes. Bitches, if y'all don't get the hell up off my property. Hello, I'm going to have y'all asses flying across all these goddamn houses. We don't come here flying. We come in Mercedes over there. You see? See? Nosotros no, no volamos. Nosotros venimos en el Mercedes que está parqueado allá afuera. ¿Sí? I'm not sure how y'all got here. I said, if y'all don't get off my damn porch, y'all ass is going to be flying across them damn houses. Shut up and listen to us, Oh, eh? hell no, she didn't. Cállate la boca y escúchanos a nosotros, ¿sí? <laughs> if y'all don't get off all my porches right here. I'm going to go back in the house and get my 38. You see that? You see that? The hell? English! Sí, se pone a hablar de todo y gritando y diciendo no sé qué tanto y ahí. Así nadie la va a querer atender. Honey, just calm down. Is Frank back? I know you didn't mention my husband's name. I done told you, you ain't getting no black dick. And if you want some black dick, you're gonna buy your own, honey. And I'm gonna make damn sure you don't get none of his black dick. I ain't say shit about no black dick. Joseph, you know better. Don't you ever swear around your, my, your mother and I. We don't allow that type of language. And you know that. I'm sorry, Daddy. Why is she so angry? Why is she so angry? Angry. She was out here yelling away earlier before we went to eat dinner. She's mucho crazy. Está loca. Is it okay if I come on your property, ma'am, and we can speak about what's going on over here and pray and talk about it? If you step one toe on my property, I'm going to knock your ass back over there. Are you okay, sweetie? Yes, we okay. We came over because her friend asked us to, but we're counselors and she's crazy. Sí, nosotros estamos bien porque su amiga nos llamó que viniéramos a verla, pero ella está loca. Yes, something is very wrong with that lady. And Josie, why does she keep yelling at you about some black... Don't dare say that. I wasn't. I was going to say tell, but anyway, what's the deal with that? I have no idea. She's just mean and unhappy. Are you sure you want to stay living here in this neighborhood with this going on? You know how they like watermelon and chicken, and they always taking things. Forgive our manners, ma'am. I am Pastor Macmillan, and this is my wife, First Lady Macmillan, and this is my son, Josie. Hi, my name is Maria, and this is Sala Martinez. We never met anyone whose name is First Lady, see? Mi nombre es Sala Martinez, y ella es Maria. Nosotros nunca conocimos a nadie con el nombre de la Primera Señora, see? No, honey. My dad is a pastor, and his wife is the first lady. Oh, see, see, see. Very nice to meet you. You too, see. Nosotros también, see. See what, hon? What do you want us to see? We like to see a lot of different things. She better not want you to see anything. Mucho crazy. Tasha, 
Now this movie's about to go off. And your water tank hair brother still ain't got back with that pizza. Hmm. He probably somewhere tipping in the road in that raggedy ass car. Girl, he done had that car for what, about a month or two? And the bumper already falling off the top? I mean, like, for real, child, it's a mess. <laughs> he hit a deer in that car the first week, and the second week, he ran over some trash cans. By the time your butt got back with that piece of boy, this movie about to go off. Just awful, awful, awful. How many trash cans did you hit this time? <laughs> what the? What the Or you could be a ma'am. Jen! What? Hell, they brought her folks too. But wh whoever you are, please just don't hurt us. I said, Sam, but let me think. Look, sir, we ain't got no money. I got $3 and a whole lot of change in my purse and two diamond earrings. I don't think they real. My ex-boyfriend, Daryl, he gave them to me. So they might be real. Do you know Daryl? He used to sell dope. So the earrings might be real. Just be quiet, Jen. The man's pacing and mumbling to himself. What? I'm just trying to help him think. Do you like to eat? Do you like to eat, ma'am? Or you could be a sir, whatever you are. I'm gonna tell you a little stupid ass shut up one more time and let me think you're gonna regret this. Oh, dog. Who the hell do you think you talking to? See, I was trying to be nice to you and ask you did you want something to eat because I got $216 on my EBT card. But since you want to call me stupid, then fuck you, oh stupid ass robber. How the fuck you going to break into somebody's house and not know what the fuck you want? Damn, broke into some poor folks house at that. You <laughs> shut up too. I told her to shut up and let me think, but she wouldn't. Please don't hurt me. I'll do anything. Please just don't hurt me. I'm begging you. Please don't hurt me. Anything? Yes, anything. Look at me. Will you marry me, Natasha? John! Hell no, I won't marry your dumb, retarded, stupid looking ass. Look what you did to Jen. I just wanted you to love me and take care of me. I hate you! I hate you! You ain't the son of a bitch! Look what you did to my cousin, Lord! Where's my cell phone? Tell me you love me! I hate you! I hate you! I hate you! I hate you! Tell me you love me! 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 Thank you so much for purchasing my wife's products today. I really appreciate that. Although I am a little disturbed about some information I just received about Malcolm today. Very disappointed. I'm so disappointed because looking at Malcolm, seems like a very nice stand-up guy, you know? He has an amazing voice as well. I guess it's true what they say. You really can't judge a book by its cover. And to think. We were going to sign him today. But unfortunately, that's not going to happen because now in TPN, what we do, we only bring people on board who are sanctified and who are Christians. And it doesn't look like Malcolm is perceiving that. Well, thank you, Mr. Peoples, for even taking the time out to speak with me today. Sure. And I just want to let you know that I'm a very private person, so please don't tell Malcolm that I came to speak with you. He'll just start beating me and get all outraged and get all upset again. Vivian, it's okay, all right? It's okay. We understand what's going on. And what we've discussed on this table will stay on this table. As a matter of fact, here's my wife's card and my card. If there's anything you need of us, let us know.
Hey, 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 I'm just so grateful and honored for the opportunity. Okay, well, let's just cut to the chase. Okay. Malcolm, I don't think it's the right time for us to sign you right now. We have a lot going on right now at TPN. Okay, uh, what happened? Well, like I just said, we have a lot going on. We have many artists right now that, we're signed, that we've signed, uh -huh. that we're committing to. Mm -hmm. We can't invest that time right now, you know, to, you know, to focus on you. And I'm really sorry that you had to drive this far. Uh, you know what? You know, that's fine. You know, I'm just grateful and, you know, just honored that you guys even considered me. Yeah. Okay. So you're not going to get mad or outraged <laughs> or curse me out and all that? You see, I'm a man of God. And, you know, whatever he lets me deal with, I take it as a lesson. And so, you know. I'm just grateful and honored that you guys even considered me, and you know, I'm just, just about it. Okay. All right. No problem. Well, again, I really apologize for you stopping to hear something like this, but no problem. Hey, Frank, are, are you busy? Nah, man. So how did it go? Hey, look. Can you look out there and see his bill out there? She she left out earlier. It hasn't been back. I just laid the baby down. Is anything wrong? Man, I seen when I was coming up in here, I seen somebody look just like her. Man, I mean, like I was trying to get a little glimpse, but she threw a bag over her face and took off. And when I went back to the back to see if that was her, man, I seen her car pull off. Man, I told you she was evil, and would do whatever it took to make sure you don't succeed with your music. Yeah, man, I believe you've been right all along, man. And, and, mm -mm. Something ain't right. Everybody knew but me, man. Something ain't right. And I'm going to get to the bottom of this. Now, nah, I don't need you to do that, man. Just stay there. Be quiet. And I'm going to figure this out when I get home. I'm going to get to the bottom of all of this. All right. Hey, there, sugar foot. Aren't you that same guy I seen earlier? First lady brother, right? We got the same mom and dad count. What's the matter? You seem sad. Can I prop up a minute to you? Yes, ma'am, you can. Oh, thank you, baby. Because I just wanted to rest this ass of mine. You know, I've always had a great big ass, but not a BSA, but just a great big ass. Do you know what a BSA is? <laughs> no, ma'am, I don't. Well, BSA, baby, is a woman with a big stinking ass. Now, I've always had a great big ass. It don't stink. But them women with them BSA, them big stinking asses, baby, they have to work extra hard to keep them thing clean. <laughs> See, I knew I could make you smile or make you laugh or get you horny. All this ass I got, it make them young boys horny. Say what now? Oh, I just wanted to make you laugh and I sure am getting hungry. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, me too. I haven't ate since yesterday since I was released from prison. Prison? Ooh. It wasn't for trying to rob no church lady and nothing like that. Okay, okay. Well, I never knew Virginia even had a brother. She's ashamed of me. She told me she didn't want me to step foot back in the church. What? Now, she don't own that church. That's the Lord's house, and anybody welcome to the Lord's house. She really hurt my feelings. Well, she didn't hurt mine a few times, too, but God sees up high and looks down low. Thank you so much. You're welcome, baby. Thank you. Excuse me, ma'am. I don't know if you know my mother or not. Her name is Grace. And if you can get in touch with her, if, is there any way you can possibly get me to get in touch with her? Oh, yeah, baby. Grace was a sweet lady. If you go on the other side of the church, she'll be over there on, on the right side over there. She over there on the left. So it's a house on the side of the church? No, baby. The graveyard. Your mama been dead for two years. Uh-huh. Wait. You didn't know? No. Nobody told me. Bye. Hey, hey man. Are you okay? Man, another deal washed down the drain. Hey, baby. I've been in our room praying, so I know you got it. Uh, praying for what, Bill? Man, I ain't got shit. Oh, baby, I'm sorry. Come here. Bullshit. What was that? <coughs> Nothing. Well, Bill, where you been at today? I just 
told you I've been downstairs in our room praying for you all day. Bullshit. Now I heard you that time, Franklin. Why you keep saying bullshit? So baby, you ain't been nowhere today? No. Nowhere? No. See, bro, I told you she was bullshitting you. Now wait a damn minute, Franklin. Just because your house fucked up don't mean you come over here and fuck up mine. Malcolm, no. I'm your ride or die. No. <laughs> what is Franklin putting your head now? You putting that in my head. I talked to your mama. Okay. And your mama told me way back when you was a little girl that you could never have babies when you went to Dr. Collins. Do that ring a bell? Wait. I've been here all day, and I can have kids. Baby, what you are you bullshit talking me? about? You cannot have no babies. You went down there to that goddamn record label and told them some foul bullshit no. about me. And you fucked me over there. No. I'm sick of your shit. No. I've been here. And I was pregnant. Bill, say the lies. You was never pregnant. I already knew. I know all that, Bill. Save it. I just hate that I wasted six years of my motherfucking life sitting here being loyal to your bitch ass and you still over here fucking me over? I can't have babies. You can't have no goddamn babies, baby. I can't have babies. Bullshit. And the doctors don't know what they thought. Bullshit, about. baby. You can't have no fucking baby. I want you to get your shit and get the fuck out of my house. Tired of your bitch ass. You got to go. You get your shit and you get the fuck out. I've been loyal to your bitch ass. I've been faithful and all you want to do is fuck me over. Turn your ass on through him. Get the fuck I mean, out of here. Get your ass through him. Get the Lord fuck forgive me. Lord forgive me. Get the fuck out of here. Crazy ass bitch. Malcolm, open this door. Malcolm, I've been here. And I was pregnant. Baby, open the door. Give me my son, Franklin. Franklin, go over this door. Franklin. Franklin, open this door. Please open the door. <laughs> Malcolm, please open the door. Maybe I was here. They got the church schedule all messed up. This is supposed to be next week and not this week. Well, Earl, here's another meal I had to prepare since you haven't heard our cook back yet. Since you want to live poor, you get a good for it too. Virginia, we can't keep using the church money for cooks and all of that. Like I said before, and so far we've been doing pretty good managing so far. Girl, I'm not gonna eat an Arby with you. Eat up. I mean, well, I appreciate it, Virginia. I appreciate it, Virginia. I do. You know, I just we can't keep using the church for money like that. Oh, I don't know this in years, Virginia. Virginia. What? I can't feel like something in here. Penny, don't talk with your mouth full. I think what is this? A shady condom. But Virginia, why would you put that in my food? That's not the question, Earl. The question is, whose ass have you been fucking? <laughs>